gate. This is your front, front side gotcha. Pretty light. Okay, so it's not that heavy. Let's see. It's all around. <laughs> What a mug! <laughs> this is so, so wide. <laughs> I don't remember. I have to ask you. I told Derek that it was supposed to be an 8. I told Derek that I wanted an 8. That, yeah, but I just assumed that you fucked it up. The invoice Derek printed me, it says by nine on it. Really? Ah, uh, well, I don't know. I can't I can't fit a by nine, man. You know, like I can fit a by nine plus thirty, but a plus seven, like oh my god, you know? That's true. So get ready for retardation. Our two boxes of wheels here and as you can see one is significantly larger than the other so there's the specs so 15 by 8 uh, and plus 10 so 4 by 100 MGM let's just take a look see what the lip looks like here this here is the 8 inch wide work CR01 75 mil lip, high, uh, high polished look there. And this is a narrowish wheel, and even then, it has a pretty deep lip. I mean, that's my iPhone there. About there, just a gauge. And you can look at the back. This one's the regular Fitment face. And you can see the lip um, is flat here. We we'll compare it with the O disc. This is the A disc, Type A. So this is probably better if, for the front wheels, so we can fit the big brake kit. So there we can see the the three piece design. So we have our lip, the face, and the two barrel. So the bolts go through there. Made in Japan. CR. Good stuff. Center caps are quite ugly on these wheels. I don't know if I'm gonna run them or not. Also got the valve stem here. So that they don't look particularly high quality or anything either. This is the center cap here. It's a bit better in my old drag wheels, but considering each one of these wheels costs about the same as one whole set of those. There we go, so it just snaps in like that. Some Meister CR. Got a nice finish there. Overall, it's not too bad. Doesn't stick out. But if you look at it from the side, it's quite tall. Um, so yeah, debating whether to use those or not. Nine inch wheel. Really deep lip on this wheel here. A lot heavier, noticeably heavier. This wheel must be a solid, you know, 15, 16 pounds must be. This lip is much deeper. And if you can tell, the spoke on this wheel is less concave than the spokes on the A disc wheel here. Put them side by side. Okay. From an angle, you can, this one the spokes they angle upwards a little bit, and this one they're pretty much flat. The flat disc gives you a deeper looking dish. So you can have the same offset, but a, uh, I think it's a seven mil difference with the lip size. So this right here is a 90, 95 mil, maybe 92 mil lip. So this here is a 15 by 9 plus 7 offset. Uh, so the difference of 8 inch with the 9 inch. And it's a little bit wider. 
not too big of a difference, just about there. And same overall design, of course. These here are Barstone V1s, uh, 15 by 8 plus 25 offset with uh, Yokohama 8008, 205.50. And as you can see, it's already a pretty, overall a pretty flush wheel. It sticks past the fender. It's just about perfect with a, uh, if you don't want to run lots of camber, this is probably a good size to go. So it'll be interesting. Imagine this with a 30 mil spacer is what these wheels will probably look like on the car. There's only one way to find out though. We got a test fit. So this wheel, we can see it sits pretty much flush with the car. Uh, we can see the angle right here. This probably sticks out a little bit past. Definitely going to need a lot of fender work here. We look at the fender. Got about half an inch to roll there. But this shouldn't be too hard to fit. An 18 inch wheel. So this wheel should be pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. Well, let's just see how the 9 inch compares. Quite easy to lift with one hand. The 9 inch wheel, it's actually not that heavy. <laughs> but actually, the 9 inch, here we go. There we go. Let's see here. About 10 mils past the fender. Which is totally fine if you run a 195 series tire. Stretch it on a 9 inch, got lots of stretch there. But actually, it should look quite nice. Definitely with a pull, we could make this work. But look at how big it makes the, uh, the stop caliper look. Actually, this might be a problem. Because I will be putting on a big caliper kit. And as you can see, this caliper clearance with this O-disc is noticeably... Uh, tighter and that might be a problem because we are going to be running a big rotor kit so the rotor is going to be about an inch bigger uh, same caliper but pushes it out a little and it fits quite nice it makes a makes it this look quite big if you zoom out a little you can really see how uh, it fills up the well quite nice uh, with the with the Willwood big brake kit that I plan to throw on the front, uh, you'll barely be able to see it because that this right here should be a 10 inch roller, I believe. About a 10 inch roller here. And we're gonna run 11s front and rear. Could actually mock it up. I have the rotor. This is a big rear rotor that we're throwing on there later. And as you can see, it's about once you have the wheel on, all you'll get is. Uh, break this. It won't be much. Uh, so I guess the size of this disc here is about this is an 11 inch rotor just smaller than 11 inch. Uh, that's about the same size as this this wheel which is interesting to note. Hopefully this should work fine. Definitely shouldn't be running a 9 inch wheel if the caliper clearance is that small we might actually have issues with the caliper uh, which is fine if we have an 8 inch wheel, we can always run, you know, a 2 mil spacer and we'll be able to clear that. But right now it already sticks well past the fender. 